uh, at the, or Breakpark Incorporators, the division of uh, Dana Corporation. A little company background. It's formerly Iroquois Tool and Die Shop. It was bought by Eklund in 1998, and Eklund was acquired by Dana Corporation. Uh, Dana Corporation is one of the largest producers of car parts that's um, original and aftermarket car parts. And they're located in uh, Toledo, Ohio for their headquarters. They're, na or they're worldwide. Uh, Brake Parts uh, Company information. Uh, Brake Parts has two locations, one in Northeast PA on Luma Street and one downtown on 12th Street in Wayne. And they have a training facility downtown area too. They have uh, one dedicated T1 line that is from Toledo, Toledo to Northeast. And we also have the Wayne Street connected to the Northeast with no uh, internet connection at the training facility yet. My supervisor was uh, Sir Rob Doctor, and I had a super he worked at Northeast at Luma Street. And my site supervisor, well, he got fired from the company. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, so I have no supervisor at the present moment. The MIS team just is Sir Rob Doctor and consists of me at the other location. So my major projects was a two-idea database and a training database. Two-idea two, two database, what, um, it is basically a uh, Dana-wide program that Dana just decided to implement, I believe, two years ago. Uh, the purpose of it is to promote continuous improvements in the company. All it is really is in a certain month, every month you have to submit ideas to improve the company. If you're a direct employee, which is like full-time office and stuff, you have to direct, or submit five ideas. If you're a part-time or temporary, two ideas. What the ideas are is just to, anything that you think will better a company, you can either have a self-implemented idea, is an idea that you did and it's self-implemented, it's already done, or an idea you can submit for a certain department, which will they'll look at and try to implement it for you. Um, they wanted me to, I got in there, and one of the other interns just just quit when I got hired. Did the front end of the or the back end of the database with ASP pages. They wanted to uh, install it on their intranet site where the employees on the shop floor or in the offices could enter the ideas directly onto the um, into the database. What they had before was just a paper system. They had a sh little sheets of paper, filled it out. They have a um, lady named Jeanette who f types them into the database, which is really designed poorly, there's no relationships in the database or anything. And the one they had is just tables that ran certain little queries. I got in there, they, all they wanted me to do was do the front end of the database for Jeanette to enter the data, and they wanted me to run reports. Whoops, where'd that go? But um, when they asked me to do reports, I got the front end done, and they asked me to do reports, I, couldn't, I didn't want to use Access. After using um, in 445 class and using Crystal Report, I really don't like doing um, reports and access. You can't do much with access, and I don't know how to use it that well because of using Crystal. So I had um, come up with a Crystal Report uh, proposal for my company. I told my MIS boss about it. He loved um, the thing. He just wanted that proposal to present to everyone so I can try to get the money for it. I did research on it for him, and I showed him the benefits were better report design shorter, more concise reports, basically. The reports they were doing for the company, they are printing out 15 to like 100 page reports daily for as many people as they wanted them. So it was a lot of paper, a lot of waste of time. And so I showed him that after I did the reports, I could publish them on our intranet site using our Crystal, Crystal Enterprise. And they'd be real time information, up to date, current. So I presented this information and I got the money. There was one little thing about it, I lied a little bit. They asked me if I knew how to use both things. I knew how to use Crystal Reports. I never used Enterprise, and I told them I did. So that was a little problem. So I had to do a <laughs> so I had to do research on Enterprise and make it look like I knew how to use it. All, enterprise is fairly easy, actually, though. All you have to do is set up a web server. Since we were running um, Windows 2000, it has um, IIS in it. So I connected, used that, and then to publish reports, it was fairly easy too. There's a report wizard to publish them to the internet site. You just put it, the main page into the root directory and then they publish straight to there with a link to them. But there's one problem encountered. I was having problems 
like the reports would pull up on my intranet site, on my computer, but anybody else's computer, I was getting this little message box that said user ID or username and user password. Could not get rid of it no matter what password I used, if it was for the network, Novell network, or for the, uh, for the Microsoft machine. So after about 15 emails back and forth for about a month to Crystal, we finally come up with the conclusion that under the um, ODBC thing, the um, file DSN, their, the ODBC connection was under the file DSN for some reason tab. We had to remove it out of there and put it into the system DSN tab. Then that didn't solve the problem, so we went back to the um, internet or Internet Explorer page or package. We used 5.5, went to the uh, Internet Options, View Objects, and we erased all the objects. And for some reason, that worked. I have no clue why they wouldn't tell me, but it works now. So it's a success. Um, this is the enterprise main screen. This is an old screen. Basically, there's reports. You can put a description in there if you want. Tell the user what the report does. Um, I picked one of the reports. It was for quarterly report. So it asked you for a prompt. What quarter do you want? It looked up information. Quarter one. You enter one through four. Here's a sample report on the um, intranet site. And this is a um, report showing. This is a head of a department, so it shows the ID is assigned to her, who it was assigned by, when it was assigned, and I put an option in here if the idea was more than 15 days um, outstanding, it would show you how many days outstanding it was and how many ideas you had outstanding. Um, it showed what employee, you can select by employee, that's employee numbers on the left hand side. It's numeric, I couldn't get rid of the decimal points but you can pick what employee you want to look at. My next project was a training, data, uh, training database. The old database had no 